Hey, how's it going? Come on in. Good. How are you feeling these days? Stressed. Too much work. What were you doing at this moment we came by? Writing solutions for review worksheets my students are doing. What have you been doing a lot of these days? Grading. A lot of quizzes and tests. What is the most exciting thing that's happened to you this year? Uh, going to Stagecoach. What's the most exciting thing that happened to you this week? Not having the proctor the PSAT. What's the most exciting thing that happened to you today? A lot of grading got done. Can you make any prediction about anything one year from now? The world will still be spinning and I will hopefully be here. Besides grading tests, what do you do on your days off? Dancing and sleeping. We heard that you're roommates with Mr. Sim. Are you guys friends? We are. What is your favorite thing to do together? Talk about students. What's the secret to living with a roommate? Same sense of humor. What's the stupidest thing you and Mr. Sim have fought over? How I use the walk-in closet as a spare bedroom rather than for clothes. So since there are people here, let's take a walk. All right. Who is your favorite student? Dylan Juan. I never had to teach him. <laughs> What's the craziest thing a student has ever said to you? We're only graded on the questions we answer, right? What is one thing you can't go to school without? My laptop. I wouldn't be able to do anything without it. How can a student get on your good side? I have no good side. Mr. Varney, what is your experience with raccoons? Uh, there was a story of one in college, two in college, in fact, where I hit one with a car because it bolted in front of it, and the other one is a story I don't talk about. <laughs> but nice try. All right. Can you describe yourself in three words? Uh, eccentric, an instructor, and an artist. What's something you can't live without? Probably my family. What is your biggest pet peeve of all time? Drivers who don't use their turn signal on the freeway. What are you reading right now? Uh, a lot of textbooks for my directed studies course. What's one movie that always makes you cry? The opening scene from Up. What's one movie that always makes you laugh? Probably The Incredibles. Who's the one person you would want to trade lives with for a day? Uh, probably my dad. He's retired. What's the best part about being a teacher? The students. What's the worst part about being a teacher? The students, but in all honesty, the time we have with them and how little it is. Aww. If you could teach any other subject, what would it be? Uh, it'd probably be either music or dance. All right. We've written a math problem up on the board there. Can you solve this for us over the course of the next six questions? I will try. If you were stranded on a desert island and could only do one kind of math for the rest of your life, what kind of math would it be? It would be arithmetic and then by extension number theory. Who is your favorite math teacher that you've ever had? Uh, my fifth grade math teacher, Ms. May. If you could have dinner with any mathematician, who would it be? Paul Erdish. Would you rather do trig or geometry? Trig. Calculator or no calculator? No calculator. All right, your time's up, but well, I'll let you keep going. I'm still cranking this one out. <laughs> if you were a rapper, what would your stage name be? Pyrapparous. What is the biggest plot twist of all time? That I thought I would leave high school and never return. What's the best word ever created? Ripperino, to describe how some of my students do on assessments. <laughs> what is the best advice someone's ever given you? Do it for the experience. Do you have any hidden talents? Uh, as you saw during the Fanatics Fest, so I guess it's not hidden anymore, but a country dancer. How did you get into dancing? Uh, my roommate in college, he started East Coast Swing and Lindy Hop, and I had to go one night, and I really loved it. What's the best thing about it? Uh, the community and all the different people with all different backgrounds that I've met over the course of my time going through it. What is the best country song that you've heard recently? I really like Hotel Key by Old Dominion. What's the best country song of all time? Uh, I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash or The Dance by Garth Brooks. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen at Stagecoach? So Granger Smith, his ending set, he comes out as his split personality, which is Earl Dibbles Jr. And Earl Dibbles Jr. cracks open two beers, dumps them on his face, throws the empty beer cans to the audience. From there, he takes out a bag of dip, takes the biggest handful from that biggest bag of dip that I've ever seen in my life, and I don't dip, but I've seen some, puts that in his cheek, wraps the bag up, signs it, throws that to the audience, signs his tank top, takes that off, throws that to the audience, then goes, yee yee, and then walks off stage, and that's how he finished off his set. Wow. Who's your spirit animal? A platypus, because they can live on water or on land, and they just kind of hang out. 
who is inspiring you the most right now? My coaches for dance and uh, my colleagues in the office. They've, we've been taking a different approach on some things and it's really cool. So after some time, I think I found it, but All right. we'll see if it works out. All right, I trust you. You're the math teacher. <laughs> what Come is on. the greatest gift you've ever received? Uh, two answers. One would be uh, dance in general. I just really enjoyed everything that's happened because of it. And then uh, my first year working here, I got my grandmother a Harvard Westlake Christmas ornament. And so uh, that Christmas, she wrote me a thank you card, and then she passed away later that year. So I have that to remember her by. That's nice. What's the greatest gift you've ever given? Uh, the dances I give whenever I go out. The, you should always give someone the best dance of their night uh, that you can. If you ran for president, what would your slogan be? <laughs> you too could end up here. What's one cause you feel passionate about? Uh, probably Asperger's and autism. What's one phrase that defines how you live your life? Do it for the experience. What's the biggest lesson teaching has taught you? To be flexible with other people's schedules. What's one thing people would be surprised to know about you? Uh, that I didn't always wear cowboy boots. Just one last question before we leave. Where's Miss Lee? Hopefully somewhere on a beach. All right, thank you so much. Thanks so much.